Okay, this video is about how to make a vertical video out of a horizontal video that you would see on like a Zoom video recording or a podcast recording. So we're going to start by we're going to start by grabbing our video file and pulling it over to the sequence area and it's going to ask us to change we're going to keep existing settings for now and if you see the actual format of the video it's a little bit smaller than the 1920 by 1080. Um, first thing we want to do before we do anything though is we do want to change the sequence settings so this is being done in uh, Premiere Pro I'm going to do it I'm going to do the same thing in CapCut here in just a, in a couple minutes but I wanted to start out with Premiere Pro uh, so there again we go up to the sequence settings and we're going to change this to, from the standard 1920 by 1080 we're going to flip it around to 1080 by 1920 and it's going to scream at us we're going to click OK so now that we got the video here we're going to go up to the go up to the effects panel or the effects controls and we're going to start moving this video around so that we can get it kind of dialed in we're going to bring the video of Troy which is the gentleman on the left down and then what we want to do is we want to get a second instance of the same video and make sure that it's exactly on top of this of the first video so that our audio sequence is going to be in line okay so we're gonna we're gonna hide this video for now and then we're gonna come up to the video we just pulled in and we're gonna move this gentleman over to so that we can put them on top and depending on the original format of the video this it's going to be something that you'll need to play with the specifics on but basically we want to bring up the the uh, size of the video on the bottom and just kind of work it into place and then what we want to do is crop these images so the way we do that is we come over here to the effects panel so go to effects and then we go to the crop tool click on crop drag that over to the video that you have there and then over again over in the effects controls here you want to come down to where it says crop and it'll make this uh, crop tool so we just want to pull that over so that we cut that video and I'm gonna bring this up just so that we can see the bottom of that video there we go okay so now that we have that one cropped we want to crop the one on top so we'll pull the crop tool over one one more time there again go to effects controls go to crop okay and then we can crop that that video now what we want to we want to do is we want to make this as seamless as possible so we want to bring up bring the play around with the placement of the video itself and so I'm going to come back down and bring Troy up a little bit farther so right about there and then bring it over so there as far as size is concerned they're about the same I'm not a big fan of this black background so one of the things that I do is I'll have a um, just an image say from Canva or something that I created in Photoshop um, let me show you what I'm talking about if we go here if I go placeholder this is just a white image that I created that I would put underneath both of these and then what we want to do is go to the effects control there and I'm going to go to the rotation 90 percent and homeboy is missing so we're going to bring him back so now it just to me it looks a little bit better but if you don't like that look you can play around with different kind of uh, backgrounds so for instance another let me pull this up create another video layer there I have another kind of paper that I that I, I like to use it's just kind of a little bit of a texture so you can see you can start getting really creative with the, with the ways that you do these videos and then that one we would just increase the size so um, so we'll just 
go back to the black background I just wanted to show that as far as a possible trick so what I'm getting at is these videos are not your well I can't say not your standard uh, format but they they are not the 16 or the, the 19 by 20 excuse me the 16 by 9 uh, format that a lot of the videos are recorded in so what you can do there is like I say back to we can go back to just playing around with the actual size of the images to kind of get those to flow together a little bit better and I'm gonna bring him down a little bit and then we would come back to our the gentleman on the top play with his size and placement a little bit more and that's kind of janky I wouldn't leave it like that personally I would prefer to use the papers the, the backgrounds myself but for the case of this um, this video I'm just gonna do this as quickly as possible basically what we want to do is we want to make sure that it's it, there's no um, there's no black showing around the, the perimeter of the video itself so it was I had, I had hurt okay. hurt my bro now we can do the same thing similar to that with a I'm going to show you the difference in the video um, parameters so for instance this video let's go back they're both hiding so we had to fix that okay so if you see if we go here these videos are a little bit wider so you have more room to play with then these are a little bit more narrow if you see what I mean so hopefully that helps in Premiere Pro and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing in CapCut so go to CapCut real quick we're gonna go create new and it gives us the option 16 by 9 or 9 by 16 we're gonna start with 9 by 16 and we're gonna grab our video media that I'd already uploaded the, the Mandy and Dana snippet and then the, the one we were just working with we'll go ahead and just bring that in you can just drag and drop it right into CapCut and what we want to do is bring it in to the clipboard so with this is pretty cool because you can do it pretty quickly in here I just wanted to make a version for if you don't have Premiere Pro for whatever reason you can still do this so what you do there uh, let me back up so once you drag it in there it gives you the option if you click on it you want to go to the crop tool here and you can crop the image here and then apply and then bring him down and then what we do is bring in another instance of the same video there again remember make sure that they're exactly on top of each other so that the audio matches and then we can click on that go to the crop tool and this time we're gonna crop Troy out of the image go apply and then that there we can start create we can make the dimensions like we were doing in Premiere as well and playing around with that so and there's a lot of other things you can do but that's a real quick run through on how to take a horizontal video and make it into a vertical so that you can use it for like YouTube shorts or Instagram reels or things like that so hopefully that helps have a great day